Here we are in Microwave Office and I'm showing you an analyst project. Uh, this particular example uh, is a board uh, where port 1 is and then the signal line goes out of port 1 up a BGA ball into a module or interposer off the top of the module onto a couple of bond wires and then onto port 2 on the chip. The designer is interested in the uh, overall performance of this line and then of course hopes to uh, optimize that performance based on the results. First of all notice that we don't have to simulate the entire structure. The designer has actually drawn a simulation box, very easy to do, around uh, the line of interest. And you can see uh, the, the port 1 here at the edge of the box is automatically going to be a wave port for those familiar with finite element methods. Port 2 is inside the box will automatically become a circuit or lumped type port. Again the emphasis is on these uh, for this software is that these decisions are made automatically uh, to be optimized for the average circuit designer. Let's take a look at the mesh very quickly and there it is and you can see it meshed uh, I'm not showing the mesh in the air of the simulation region just so uh, it's easier to see the picture, but of course the air was meshed. Here are the simulation results. Uh, no finite element method demonstration would be complete without a pretty picture. And you can see the fields uh, going down the line uh, and onto the chip. Uh, we are using a mode where we're looking at these fields with various cut planes. If we go back to the 2D layout, the question is how did we draw those BGA balls and bond wires? The answer is we didn't. Uh, they actually are placed by 3D P-cells. They're pre-drawn, pre-configured, and the, then the designer, for example, with the bond wires, it just has to uh, literally place the endpoints of the bond wire and it's automatically taken care of. Again, the emphasis being on ease of use for the designer and integration into our software. We don't want the designer to be wasting a lot of time in setup and drawing of these 3D objects. I think that's about all I have time for, but hopefully I gave you a little bit of idea why we're so excited about Analyst. It completes our EM flow. The designer can now use uh, our best-in-class planar simulator Axiom for most of their work. After all, these circuits are predominantly planar. And now, with Analyst, can use finite element methods to look at the parts of the circuit that do require 3D simulation.